now proudly serving those who serve. This is Around the Services. Hello and welcome. I'm Sergeant Ted McDonald. The Coast Guard Cutter Mackinac is the only icebreaker serving on the Great Lakes, and it has a one-of-a-kind mission, keep ship traffic moving. It's a critical mission because billions in commerce flow through these waters. And for the Mackinac, it also means being proficient in several different areas. Coast Guard Petty Officer Adam Eggers spent a week on the ice and brings us this story. The Coast Guard Cutter Mackinac was designed to be an icebreaker with year-round responsibilities. When the winter ice of the Great Lakes melts, this ship transforms into a buoy tender. In addition to these two very diverse missions, the cutter and crew are also on the lookout for any mariners in distress, making it a true multi-mission platform. We were uh, designed to replace an icebreaker to the old Coast Guard Cutter Mackinac. Uh, we are a, an icebreaker that has the ability to attend aids navigation. Uh, we are truly a multi-mission ship. Uh, we, both, we do uh, aid to navigation, icebreaking, search and rescue, law enforcement. Uh, we also have the capability of uh, being the vessel opportunity for oil, oil collection. But here in late March, the main mission is still icebreaking. But what makes an icebreaker, well, an icebreaker? The answer is behind that bright red paint. This ship has the capability of breaking ice several ways. Um, the traditional method of uh, on a large icebreaker of uh, basically going up over and crushing the ice, we have the ability to do that, and that's one of the, the designs of the hull. Uh, the, the stern is designed to take the ice, put it towards the middle, and then shove it down towards the screws to allow the screws to chop it up. And breaking that ice is a critical mission to the United States. Nearly $2 billion worth of freight travel through the Great Lakes each year, and it's this ship, along with the small group of Coast Guard ice-breaking tugs, who are tasked with keeping these waters open and safe for transit. Weather up here gets very nasty very quickly, um, not only in, in the wintertime, but fall and spring. While the crew of the Mackinac can't control the weather, they can, to some degree, control the main hazard to navigation, the ice. It poses uh, very extreme dangers. I mean, the, the Lakers in the, up here in the Great Lakes tend to transit very close to shoal waters. Um, you're talking about a matter of feet between 1,000-foot vessels. After this ice is broken and melts away, the ship will return in the spring to take on one of its other personalities as a buoy tender, keeping the engines turning, the crew working, and the ship traffic moving. From the Coast Guard Cutter Mackinac, I'm Coast Guard Petty Officer Adam Eggers, Pentagon Channel News. Now, being the only icebreaker and buoy tender in the Coast Guard isn't the only thing that sets the ship apart from others in service. How the ship powers itself through the water is also something that's unique to the Mackinac. The uniqueness of the Mackinac goes past its unusual set of missions. Even how the ship moves is different from any other Coast Guard cutter. From the pot of propulsion system all the way up uh, to the bridge, it is a very unique platform. As we have azopod propulsion, which is basically two pods underneath with main motors in them, screws on, attached to them, and we've got the ability to turn those pods 360 degrees. With the mission and time demands on the Mackinac, having a propulsion system like this gives the crew more options to complete their job. The technology allows us to do different techniques of breaking ice. We have azopods, which gives us the ability to break ice backwards. Um, as well as forwards, and, and sometimes in many cases better backwards than forwards. Or if a vessel gets stuck there, it allows us to back up to them, clear the front of the vessel with our pods, either facing towards them or, or opposing to flush the ice aside. But with all the different ways this system allows the cutter to operate, there are some drawbacks. It's a very unique and challenging um, ship to learn, to drive, which carries unique training requirements as well. But the Mackinac does have one other unique piece of equipment to help them with training. We have an onboard simulator, which we're the only Coast Guard cutter uh, to have that. That allows us to get our ODs stick time without actually getting the cutter underway. The training the simulator offers is crucial. If you've spent the past 20 years in the Coast Guard or plan on spending the next five years there, you'll still never come across a ship quite like this. From the Coast Guard cutter Mackinac in Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan, I'm Coast Guard Petty Officer Adam Eggers.